Now, today we're talking about something really difficult for a lot of students. It's not just looking at the numbers. It's looking at the words in front of the numbers. When you're looking at problems and you have to problem solve, knowing the strategies such as finding reasonable answers is one of the most difficult things in math. I always tell my kids it's not the math that's hard, it's the words. It's getting through the language to get to the math. Now, if you take a, a word problem or a story problem like the one they, uh, the one here it's, uh, that reads, Is it reasonable to say that Wallace's family has traveled about 2,200 miles this year? This question is referring to this table of this year's travel where dad has traveled 398 miles, Wallace traveled 737 miles, and Wallace's brother traveled 1,106 miles. So the question is, uh, is it reasonable? And that word reasonable I've brought up a couple of times in lessons because I want kids to be used to seeing it. A reasonable answer is one that makes sense. So if it's, uh, if it's reasonable that they've traveled 2,200 miles, how would you know? How would you know if it makes sense based on the numbers given? There are four steps that, uh, that you go through to make sure that you know the answer is reasonable or the number they give about 2,200 is reasonable. Notice the word about it doesn't mean exactly the right answer. It means about 2,200 or close to or near. This is not the exact number of mileage, but it's close to it. It's about 2,200 miles. So step one is understanding. Ask yourself, what do you know? We know that dad, or rather a student could say that I know The family has traveled 398 miles, 737 miles, and 1,106 miles. Now what this does is it takes all of the most important information that you know and puts it in one place. And notice I use a complete sentence. Now the next step, uh, the next part of step one, understanding, is what do you need to find? So we don't need to find the exact answer. A student would say, I need to find if the family traveled about 2,200 miles. And again, notice it's written in a complete sentence. Now, once you have found the, uh, the most important information and once you know what you're trying to do with it, you need a plan. Step two is about creating a plan. Now, when you're talking about finding a reasonable answer, you must consider using estimation, estimate, estimating. I will estimate the sum and compare the two estimates. If you estimate the sum, then you are going to have a sum to compare with the number in the question. So let's go to step three. And notice I wrote this out. I will estimate the sum and compare the two estimates. 
That is my plan. This is very difficult for students to write out what they will do in order to solve a problem. Now in step three, to solve, we are going to estimate. We said we would estimate, and now we will. We'll take each of the mileage uh, mileages, we will round each of them to the highest common place value. In this case, we'll round to the hundreds place. Okay. So 1,106, if you find your place in the hundreds, like next door, five or greater, no, you don't add one more. Numbers in front stay the same. Numbers behind, zero is your name. And you go through and you round each number. When you add this all together, you're going to end up with, oh, looks like I ran out of room, sorry about that. You're going to end up with 0, 0, and then 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Carry the 1, add those together, and you get 2,200. So your estimate of the, of the very same mileages that you were given gets you an, an, an estimate that's the same as the one in the problem. So you can compare those two and know that yes, you have solved by estimating and compared the two estimates to find that they are the same. Now step four for this problem it doesn't seem to be worth doing uh, because you've already answered the question. But step four is an important step. You must check your work. So we're going to add all three of the mileages together, and we're going to get 2,241, which is close to 2,200. So yes, it is reasonable that the mileage traveled is about 2,200 miles. So there are four steps, and it seems like a lot. But with a simple problem like this, it does seem like a lot of work. As you get into more intricate problems, you're going to want to rely on these four steps. So please take note and please practice reading problems and going through the four steps to determine whether or not an answer is or is not reasonable.